hey what's going on guys let's do this problem right here this question is asking consider a sealed 20 centimeter high electronic box whose base dimensions are 50 times 50 placed in a vacuum chamber the emissivity of the outer surface of the box is 0 0.95 and if the electronic com components in the box dissipate a total of 120 watts of power and the outer surface temperature of the box is not to exceed 55 degrees Celsius, determine the temperature at which the surrounding surface must be kept kept if this box is to be cooled by radiation alone. So the question is asking to find the temperature, determine the temperature of the surrounding, right? And this is only radiation alone and assume the heat transfer of the bottom surface, so surface of the box to the stand to be negligible. So we neglect the foot bottom surface of this one this box right here and see how we can find the surrounding temperature so since this is related to radiation we use the radiation energy equation that's Q dot heat transfer rate by radiation is equal to emissivity times sigma times surface area times T surface power 4 minus T surrounding power 4 here the question is asking for T surrounding. So let's rearrange this equation. T surface power 4 minus T surrounding power 4 is going to be equal to Q dot radiation over emissivity sigma AS. And let's list all the given information. What we have right now. Emissivity is provided right here. That's this one emissivity is equal to 0 0.95 and then we need sigma so sigma value is always same this is going to be 5.67 times 10 to the power of minus 8 right so this is the sigma value and then a is surface area that's we have to find out and radius and q radiation is already given q dot radiation that is equal to 120 watts all we have to find out is the area and let's and also the surface surface temperature that's provided right here T surface is equal to 55 degrees Celsius but one thing in radiation equation we have to always convert this one into Kelvin because we are powering this one by 4 so the change is not going to be same if it's degree Celsius and Kelvin so we have to always change this one into Kelvin here they have given 55 degree Celsius that is equivalent to if you add 273 to this one that's going to give you I mean 273 yeah that's going to give you 328 Kelvin so this is going to be the T surface and let's see how we can find the surface area and they already mentioned that bottom is negligible so we don't worry about the bottom and we are going to have this top square and the four sides so area of the su surface is going to be top square that is 50 centimeter 50 centimeter so this is going to be 50 times 50 and the four sides we have four sides four times and the height is 20 centimeter times the length is 50 so this is going to be 20 times 50 and if you calculate this one that's going to give you 2500 plus 20 times 50 is going to be 1000 times 4 that's going to be 4000 so this comes out to be um, 6500 right 6500 now this is centimeter square each centimeter is equal to zero I mean divide by 100 meter right so this is going to be if it one centimeter this is 0 0.01 meter so we have to we know that uh, one times if it's one centimeter that's one time 10 to the power of minus 2 meter if it's centimeter square this is going to be 10 to the power of minus 4 meter square so that's how we convert centimeter into meter square now we can change this one into meter square and if you find the decimal value we 
move for unit strike for decimal that's going to be 0 0.65 meter square so this is going to be the surface area now let's go ahead and plug all these values and find the final answer and before that yeah let's find this part first and then separate this one right so this one is Q radiation that's given that's 120 watts emissivity is 0 0.95 times sigma that is 5.67 times 10 to the power of minus 8 and then we have surface area that's what we calculated right here that is 0 0.65 right so let's don't worry about the unit for now and if you calculate this value this is going to give you 3.427 times 10 to the power of 9 so this is the value we are getting from this one but this is t surface minus power 4 minus t surroundings power 4 we only need to see t surroundings that's the main question right so let's uh, maybe clear this part and do the rest of the problems okay now we have enough space to do this so let's continue okay, this one continues here and we know that t surface power 4 minus t surroundings power 4 is equal to 3.5 4 to 7 times 10 to the power of minus 10 to the power of 9 and t t surface we already calculated i raised it but it's already here 55 degrees celsius so t surface is 55 degrees celsius we have to convert into kelvin right so we have to add 273 to this one and if you if you add 273 that's going to give you 328 kelvin now we apply this one but before we do that let's separate make this t surrounding positive so what i'm going to do i'm going to keep this t surface 4 maybe put the t surface 4 and minus 3.427 times 10 to the power of 9 is equal to t surrounding power 4 right and t surface power 4 is going to be 328 power 4 minus 3.427 times 10 to the power of 9 that is equal to t surrounding power 4 and let's flip this around t therefore t surrounding is going to be equal to fourth root of fourth root of these values 328 power 4 minus 3.427 times 10 to the power of 9 and if you calculate this one you will get 300.43 Kelvin that is same as 27.28 degrees Celsius and that's how we do this kind of problems I hope you guys find this video helpful see you next time